Hello Lolas, welcome back to my channel guys. Today I have baby, I don't know her name yet. <laughs> I wanted to name her Brooklyn, but I've been like calling her Nobi. Cause someone left in the comment section like, um, you should name her Nobi. And I'm like, oh, she did look like a Nobi. So I've been like, hey, let me get Nobi. <laughs> so like, and then someone was like, oh, Zenobia. Um, and then call her Nobi. So I'm like, okay, I grew up with a, two Zenobias actually. Um, so maybe we'll call her Nobi for now, but, or should we call her Brooklyn? Eh, Brooklyn is not like clicking. Anyway, if you're new to this, this channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. And if you're not a channel membership, please make sure you go ahead and join by paying a dollar and 99 cents. It's a monthly fee, um, and we do exclusive live streams, and sometimes I put video content in there, and those live streams I usually leave up for, for at least the duration of the month, and then I clear them out. Sometimes I'm lazy and I forget, so sometimes you can actually go back even further by going to the community tab if you're a member. Um... Anyway, I <laughs> I was coming to show her she's on her permanent body. So her body came in and I was really excited about that. Um, and then I was not excited about it uh, because the only thing that I have with the Reggie Ann bodies is that I never can really gauge what size the body is going to be. Like what size would really fit her or any of my baby's heads um a lot of times the bodies that people recommend for the the babies are not proportionate and I'm one of those people that I cannot bond with a sculpt if or a doll if it's not proportioned or not weighted properly all those things really affect me um so I just you know I have to get it right. So there's times where you guys don't know, but a lot of times I end up spending like hundreds of dollars because I'll buy like two or three times. It's almost always that I buy end up buying at least two bodies because I'll buy one, it doesn't work. I buy another one and then it, it work, but there has been times where I've bought like four bodies just to get it right. Um, this, this body is actually the same size as the newborn body that I have here, but this is a large preemie. So, but it actually worked on her. I didn't think it was going to work. Funny thing, the joke is, is that I already had the same size body here. When I first put it on her, I, it just didn't look right to me. So I don't know, but this one is a chocolate body. I like the dark, you know, the dark cloth bodies on my babies. Even when they're, you know, Caucasian, I still like the dark bodies. I don't know. Just kind of, you know, the, I had her on a short sleeve outfit and it, and she had on um, her hand mitts. And it still, you know, looked pretty, pretty cool. It, was, it wasn't like a big to-do. It almost looked like she had like a shirt under it. So, I don't know. But anyway... Um, that's the only thing is that I can't really gauge it sometime, but I'm, I'm happy with her on this body. Um, I am so confused on how I want to root her hair. I got an idea, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to, if I am good enough to root it that way, but I'm going to probably give it a try, but she's, I'm going to just let her stay bald for a while. Um, and it's funny, her skin tone is different from all my other babies. And it's different from Jaden, but I think she's actually more on the browner side than Jaden. So, anyway, just wanted to put that out there because I keep looking at him and looking at her. And I'm just like, they they work so get well together. And then I was going to name her like Jalen or something to blend with Jaden. But, yeah, I think I might just call her Nobi. Anyway, um, so I was supposed to do... This, like, I did this video in the chat box. It actually 
was intended to come out here, but it just went way far. Um, and then someone asked me to do like, you know, possibly do a video of 10 crazy things that I've done over my years of collecting. And I was trying to think of 10 things and to believe, to my surprise, either I just think that the things I do is normal or I'm not as crazy as I think. So, um, I'm going to tell you guys what I made a list and I, to try to remember some of this stuff. And I sat there in my seat this morning and I was like, what? Let me think of some of the things I've done. So, um, all right. So one of the things, and this was when I first started collecting, I turned off the ceiling fan so the doll didn't get colic. I thought about it after I did it, but my maternal instinct just set in and I came in the room, baby's under the ceiling fan, like laying right up under the ceiling fan. And I immediately turned the fan off and I said, like, ooh, you're going to get colic. So, and for those that don't know, like, what colic is, you, when a newborn baby is, like, exposed to a lot of wind, they get gassy and stuff because they swallow the air and they don't, I guess their little system don't digest it right or something. I don't know. But anyway, um, but it wasn't just me. Um, another time, my guy, because this was before I started, like, all my dolls used to be in the same room where I slept. Um, he was watching football one day and I left, I think it was Paris on the bed and, um, he's sitting there in the chair and I, you know, they're watching me, watching the game. And I can't, when I came back in, she had a blanket over her <laughs> and I'm like, I'm like, did you put a blanket over her? And then he, he didn't want to answer at first. And then eventually he was like, well, I figured the silver fan was on. She was going to be cold. It was too cold in here. It was so funny. Anyway, um, I think, he, I don't know if he did it to be funny or not, or if it really bothered him. Because it was something, it was a habit that he would do. Anytime I would have a baby in the room and the fan would be on, he would put the cover on it. But anyway, another thing I did, and I mentioned this in my previous video, is that I literally chased down this this particular print of a diaper. It's a, a Winnie the Pooh. They don't make the print anymore. It's a vintage micro plumy diaper that, you know, like for babies in the NICU or whatever. Um, I chased down this, that print on eBay and I paid like 55 to $60 for a box of diapers that probably, I don't even know if it have 20 in there. Um, it even on the box literally have the nurse name on the box because they're not I guess not really for for like resale or re retail sales or whatever um they're what they use in the hospital or whatever and I bought those diapers and when I bought those diapers that was crazy in itself but the crazy part about it is that I didn't have a doll to fit it so I went on this crazy chase to find a baby to fit that diaper that small diaper and I went through a couple babies that <laughs> didn't quite fit it and I was irritated. But yeah. So anyway, another thing I did that is kind of embarrassing a little bit, but then I guess whatever, it just maybe I'm just human or crazy. <laughs> I cried for weeks, maybe a month or so, a couple months after I sold a baby that I didn't really want to sell but felt like I had to sell. And every time, like, say for instance, like, someone be like, I can't believe you sold her, I would, like, get so sad and I would cry. Or, and I cried when I packed her up. I cried when she was, while she was being shipped. I barely could watch the box opening. I cried during that. And then, like, even one day I was on a live stream and uh, someone said something like, oh, I can't believe you sold you know, this baby, it was Jade. I can't believe you sold Jade. And I had to get up. I was talking about, well, I was, or I was talking about her. No, I think I might've was talking. I don't remember exactly how it went, but I was talking about her somehow. And I just got all 
emotional. I had to walk off the camera because I didn't want people to know I was crying. So anyway, that was crazy because I'm like, this is just the doll. Like I didn't give away my real child. Like, why is it so, you know, the only thing I cried about like that, like I cried about a puppy one time when I had to give a puppy away. Um, but this was a doll. So I thought that was kind of crazy when I look back at it. Um, another thing I did is, well, it's crazy for me because I am real cheap and I usually either buy stuff secondhand or get hand-me-downs for like my baby's accessories. Now I did, when I first started my nursery, I paid my cribs that I have in here, they were like $400 a piece or so. They're very nicely done, made cribs though. And they're really tiny and I wanted them to be really tiny and cute. But I paid over $300 for a bassinet just because the baby was going to be a special baby. <laughs> so I spent like top dollar on this really, what I thought was fancy, bassinet. And the crazy part about it is that the baby never came because the transaction just went south. So, so I actually, well, actually, all in all, I had already spent over $2,000 nesting for this baby. And then the transaction went south. So that was crazy because I never do that. I never do that. That was ridiculous. Um... The other crazy thing is not crazy now, but it was crazy back then, is I would warm up the bottles just so I could feel the baby pee in the diaper. Like, that sounds crazy. Like, you just so you could feel it trinkle down and wet the diaper. But it's so cool because it makes them feel like they're real. But to, like, a non-doll collector, they'll be like, that's stupid. Um, so every time I give my baby a bottle... And that's still to this day. Any baby that has a drink of wet, if I give them a bottle, it's going to be warm water. Um, and then the other crazy thing I did, I don't know, I think my stuff is not like goofy stuff, but it's like crazy, like don't make sense logically or wasn't smart to do type things. Um, I spent more money on a doll that I had in my savings account <laughs> like I like basically like even even probably to this day well maybe not so much now but well yeah probably if I really 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 add stuff up but like basically <laughs> the doll costs more than what I had saved up like sitting in a bank account that's in one bank account that was like I don't know but in my head it it wasn't crazy at the time because it was like well I sold a doll to get this doll but then as I went on I was like but if I would have sold a doll if I would just put the money back in my account I would have more money in my account anyway I don't know I, I I've stopped doing that kind of stuff now and work on saving and stuff like that because I was just living in the moment at the time um, oh, another thing I've done is I've sold a better painted doll, a doll that I like the painting way much better. Um, much more detail, everything for one, just because I liked the face better on the other baby. And it ended up, I ended up selling the other one. I really regret selling the, the, the more detailed one, but... I've also, I didn't list this, but I've also, when it's speaking of like buying and selling, some of the crazy things I've done, I've bought babies based off of just because I love the way the feet were painted or the hands were painted or basically, or just the face was painted. Like I have a doll here that I don't like the way the limbs are painted, but I love the face. And so I won't ever sell it just because, <laughs> just because, you know, like I, I do weird stuff like that. Like, I am like, I will buy some of the craziest, like, I will buy a sculpt. Sometimes people find ugly because I love the way, like, either 
It could be like the way the mouth is. It could be the way that the, the fingers are or the feet or the way the tummy is or the head or it could just be something like the nose, the ears. It could be something so weird like that I want to paint and I'll buy a kit because of that. Like, um, yeah. So I'll, I'll, or I've bought like my last, uh, Plucka Baby, I bought it strictly because I love that particular skin tone that she does. And I wanted that so bad. I wasn't necessarily in love with the sculpt when I first saw it. But I was in love. I wanted that paint style from her. But I ended up selling it in the end. But, um, but yeah. I don't know. I, oh, and the other thing I did is I put a baby in the driveway for Halloween. It was one that had became a boo-boo baby and it really wasn't like worth much. Um, I put it in the driveway. I actually was live. A lot of people got to witness that. I did a lot of reactions, like see what people would do, would do when they find this like baby, this lifelike baby. It was a full body silicone too, laying in the driveway. And then, um, Someone actually tried to run off. One of the kids tried to run off with it. They were going to take it. And then I came out and I like said, no, no, no. What are you doing? And then we had a whole big to do thing. And um, it was, I actually, in the crowd, they were, everybody was standing around looking on it. And the guy was, the little kid was like, he was a teenager. He was like, oh my God, no guys, y'all got to see this up close. This is like a real baby. He had picked it up and everything. And so I, he gave it back to me, and when he gave it back to me, I threw it out at one of the other kids, and they just screamed, and they it was so funny. But they had a, it was, we had a good time, and I know that's horrible in the doll world. People probably cringing at the thought of, oh my gosh, she's throwing around so cold and all that. But that's why I didn't really share the video afterwards. I made it private, but it was fun on Halloween night. We like really had a blast. Like it was a whole live that I did on Facebook, but um. That's about it. So, anyway, I um I should go. This is it's like all my videos are being like super long. But yeah, I don't have any really really crazy things that I've done just that I could think of right off. What about you guys? Do you guys have like crazy things that you've done in this hobby that you can't believe that you did or things you said you never would do that you'd end up doing um let me know in the comment section or even if you want to make a video about it let me know um just curious like a couple crazy things that you've done <laughs>